Well, hello everyone. Welcome to my live open house here in Savita, Mission Valley, which is the 92108 zip code. Right now, I'm in our Savita listing. The address is 8570 Aspect Drive. So this unit in particular is located in the Lucent 2 complex of Savita. So Savita has multiple different complexes and neighborhoods in, in this community. And there is a Lucent 1 and a Lucent 2. So Lucent 2 was built in 2018 and it's the newer of the two. And one feature that the Lucent uh, complex holds is elevator access up to your unit. So it's great leisure attached two car uh, garage. So as you get out of your garage, you're going up the elevator and straight into your unit. Very easy access, a great lock and leave type of lifestyle. You don't have to worry about maintaining anything other than the interior of your building. So this particular home is a two bedroom, two full bath, and it's a little over 1400 square feet. So 1457 to be exact. Um, there are many upgrades in this home that I would love to talk to you about as I walk through. So once I'm done walking through this particular unit, I'm gonna go downstairs, take the elevator downstairs to show you the garage. Uh, just because it's kind of nice to know that this particular home has a very easy garage right next to the elevator. So some of them you have to walk a little bit, but this one's right there and you kind of come back in. So, which is great. So, without further ado, let's start this walkthrough. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this around so you can kind of see where I'm at. <clears throat> so, I'm kind of in the kitchen area and I'm going to be looking over into this living room. But before we kind of start walking through it, let's start from the beginning, which is the front door. So let me open up this front door for you. Really sturdy type of door. You see the elevator here. You have one other unit in this, on this floor, which is on the other side of this. And then you kind of have your own here. So we're going through the front door. And let's say you take a right. One bonus thing that I did not mention, aside from the two full bedrooms, is that you also have this extra area, which is open. You can see there's no doorway. And it can be a either office space, a den. And if you really needed a third extra bedroom, you could absolutely close this up and make it a third bedroom. See the wall to wall kind of feeling here. So let me kind of just go on the other side here. So this is, you'll see this beautiful flooring. This is um, upgraded laminate flooring. I love this color. I love the kind of look that it uh, gives off of these white floors. So you can see this really nice window and it's actually very spacious. So after we're done viewing this office space den, let's go into the second bedroom. So in here, we have this upgrade laminate flooring throughout the whole home. So you're gonna see this brilliantly pop against these white floors. So we see here that you have two, actually three windows. And we'll kind of just give you a view of the outside. It's a beautiful day, so. This is getting me anxious to go outside and enjoy that sun. But you'll see some guest parking down here. See where that car is and then there's another one here. There's a few other parked here. And in this particular home actually is a premium lot. So in terms of views that you're mentioning, as soon as I'm done viewing this section of the home, I'll show you the beautiful uh, living room that gives you uh, more of a private view than other particular buildings in this unit, unit that you'll see kind of the neighbors over here. So let me go into this second full bath. It has wonderful tiling all the way up to the ceiling. So it's like a floor to ceiling tiled wall with glass inlay. 
in the tub shower. Here you go, there's me. Really nice features, really nice tiling on the floor here. And the tiling on the walls is throughout that you can see. Let me kind of give you a different view. A great window to kind of bring in some extra light. You already have recessed lighting here in this second bath, but this window here gives you a lot of extra light. All right, so let me also show you, there is a coat closet right behind this second bath to give you some extra storage in this unit. Now, before we actually see those views, let's go into your laundry section of the unit. We have here your stackable, really nice appliances. They're LG. And then you have an emergency exit door here. You have some cabinetry for storing purposes, laundry, folding area if you'd like. Really nice, kind of open. And there you go, we got manuals for you. So this is just kind of, let me kind of back up. My back is to the emergency exit, just to kind of give you a feel of the space of this laundry section here. All right, so walking out of laundry, we had the front door here. We finished with the den and the second bedroom, and of course that uh, full bath right there. So now we're kind of looking into the beautiful upgraded kitchen. So a lot of the upgrades, oh, 40,000 in upgrades to be exact, a lot of the upgrades went into this beautiful kitchen. So you can see you have an island here. Let me kind of back up so you can kind of get the full feel of what this kitchen looks like. So you have a Caesar stone quartz island and countertops and a subway backsplash. So, and then this is high gloss type of cabinets. You have a, a beautiful, I love this color. I, and I don't see this very often. This beautiful kind of um, teal, I'd say, in my opinion. And then great shelving space. Pull out drawers here. Very thoughtful type of shelving. Not the standard kind of shelving, but actually put in some time to kind of have these pull out type of drawers. So if you have some big, let's say you have cereal boxes or some jars that you're putting here in the kitchen, those will all fit in here. And let's gonna kind of give an up view of this cedar stone quartz countertop. Really beautiful kind of feel. The touch is really great. And then you can see your stainless steel dishwasher here. You have your sink here. Let me back up into that fridge. Frigid air fridge, great quality. And then another thing to note is actually just the storage that goes all the way up. So, and this type of cabinetry opens up, kind of like that garage door look but instead of opening to the sides, but you're opening up, which is really nice. I mean, now, I'm not too tall, so I'll definitely need a, a um, stepping stool to get up to there, but just the fact that I can kind of store anything I'd like, let's say there's certain things that I'd only take out once a year, those cabinets up there are perfect. And it's just like such a nice high gloss look. It just kind of brings in an element of contemporary, and just a, another kind of level that I don't really see in homes. So here we go, continuing on with that opening up. And a great, a great um, KitchenAid gas stove here. Heavy duty, I'd say. And I'll just kind of open up a few of these down here too, because I know that a lot of people like to just kind of meander through homes and see how the shelving feels. So that was a soft closed and there's some shelving below. And then of course you can see continuing on that beautiful laminate flooring. Just love the look of it. 
And let me kind of turn around to give you a kind of view from here. And you'll see that it really makes a huge difference with those recessed lighting on. Even though you get so much ample light in here, as soon as you turn the lights on, it kind of pops. The, the white in the kitchen really pops. So I really like this island too because it just bends with the space. There's not any hard edges as you're walking through from the kitchen and into the living room. It's, it just kind of has that really nice elegant flow and you're not kind of hitting the corner as you pass by. So I really appreciate that. I'm kind of one to be clumsy and run into doorways and whatnot, but to be able to know that this is a nice smooth surface as I'm walking, let's say from the front door, past the kitchen and into the living room, I'm not hitting that hip on the corner of the island. <laughs> All right, so this is my favorite part is this beautiful, these windows, kind of floor to ceiling feel in the living room. And this particular lot, for lack of a better term, and this, this unit, I suppose, is a premium lot. So you aren't looking into neighbors. Uh, there's a lot of greenery that's growing. And you'll see that maybe other neighbors might, you can kind of see it, look in to theirs, just the patio, you don't have this look, which is fantastic. So it just brings in a lot of light. You're not being cut off by buildings to, to and so you're just absorbing as much light as possible. So let me kind of back up from the kitchen corner so you can get a better feel of what this looks like. So really, really great. And then you have your patio out here, but before we go in there, let me just kind of turn around so you can kind of have a nice view from this angle. So you have that solar screen blacked out shades on windows and a sliding glass door to reduce any glare and kind of keep it cool. So let me kind of finish one more time. Now let's kind of go into the balcony area. Here we go. Once these trees really mature, it's gonna give you a lot of privacy here. And, and regardless of that, there's still a lot of privacy. It's still kind of a hill up there, so you can't fully see people all the way. Really beautiful and green. Such a great day to be doing an open house too. So let me kind of back up in the corner. You can see how the flooring is here. You do have a light out here too. It's covered. And I'll just kind of give you a look of what it looks like from this angle. Really quiet day today. Okay. Let me close that slider. Give you another look. So let me know if you have any questions so far. I'm about halfway through, if not a little bit more halfway through of this walkthrough, because we have this master bedroom that I'm walking into right now and uh, the garage area. Okay, so let me, I kind of got too eager walking into this room. So let me kind of give you a feel of this space, really nicely tucked away. We have windows here. A lot of windows, even that corner window here, letting in light from a different angle. And of course, that beautiful flooring that I can't get over, I keep mentioning it. And what's also nice to note is that the bedrooms are completely separate. So you had that second bedroom on the other side, and then now you have your master. So separate bedroom uh, locations in this unit. And let me kind of go over 
on this corner so you can kind of see how we entered through this door. We have the windows over here. And we would have that kind of sliding barn door here. All right, one of my favorite bathrooms, just a bit biased, I'll admit, but it's one of my favorite bathrooms I've been in just because I know that these builders here in Savita really take the time to put a lot of finishes, really nice upgrade finishes in here. And of course, our uh, the homeowner here put some really nice upgrades too. So let me see, I'm missing a light. There we are, here's the light. So I love these pendulant lights. And my favorite feature of this home is this textured backsplash that goes all the way up to the ceiling this geometric kind of feel. And it's just to the touch, you can see all the grooves as well. And this is dual sinks, dual vanity sinks. So you have your medicine cabinet here. You have this really nice type of um, countertop, great smooth to the touch, has a little kind of texture to it, but still smooth. And this kind of little, um, kind of prepping area. Maybe if you wanted a little bit of a bench here to sit down and, and, and do your makeup if you wanted to, or just, I mean, shoot, if you want to put more storage underneath, you're more than welcome to, but really gives you the option and the space to do that. And let me kind of back up so you kind of see what it looks like from this angle. And then there's the water closet there. And that was the bedroom back there. And then you have a better feel of this. All right, so I didn't want to miss out on this. This is such a huge walk-in shower. And I'll even get in this shower for you guys to see everything that's going on in here. So we have another type of geometric feel, a little kind of a rough pattern, not, not like, a, like this one where you can kind of see and feel the edges, but it's just a little rough here. But it's still a great, great quality tile, um, really durable obviously great for the shower. And then you have the uh, tiling down here. And I appreciate this little kind of nook area, pretty deep, so you can kind of be able to store everything you need for the shower here. And of course, the, this tiling kind of goes up all the way to the ceiling on both sides. And you have a little nice little light up here too. And I'll kind of turn around in this shower so you can see all that glass, very seamless kind of look in the shower. And it's just a quick little kind of step, not even that big of a step at all, if that. Very smooth glass exterior. Just really nice upgrades, really well done. All right, now walking into a great feature, personal favorite, is the walk-in closet. The idea that you can kind of just have so much going on here. You can glam it out, have extra storage, the shelving, you know, the drawers. But either way, this has great bones to a walk-in closet. I'll close the door so you can kind of even see the whole thing. I'll get trapped in this closet. Let's see, here we go. Let me know if you have any questions so far. And I'll kind of back out of this closet so you can kind of get the full feel of it. But huge, just really huge. It's great. Okay. So this is a fantastic view. Can't even hear outside. No road noise that I hear of at all right now. It's just me and my voice echoing in this 1,400 square foot unit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my camera down. I will. I'm going to start kind of prepping for taking you guys to the garage. So I'm going to put on my mask. And let me know if you have any questions about the unit that I just kind of walked through. But as of right now, I'm going to start walking into the garage, which means that I have to go out of this unit and downstairs into a public area. 
So I want to be safe when I'm touching everything with a glove and then of course a mask as well. So let me grab the keys. And we will make our way down. So hopefully I don't lose connection <laughs> as I'm walking through and going into the elevator. But if I do, I will be happy to post some um, videos. So there, this would be your neighbor over here. We're going in here. Very fancy. So we are on the second floor and we're gonna go on the first floor. So you can see the unit number here, 8570. Really great elevator in itself. Quiet, smooth. Part of the HOA, which I will talk about. This is the front entrance if anybody wants to kind of go in through here. This is how I entered. And then look at this. This is your garage right here, which is fantastic. And then of course the elevator and then other people's um, access to their garage. But you have it right here, boom. So let me get that key for us. Here we are. And let me take out the key. Here we go. And there's a light in here. Here we are. So really great two car garage. I know a lot of people can't get too stoked because it's a garage, but if you need the storage outside of your unit, you have it here. You see that tankless water heater right over there and storage racks above, but if you needed more, you could absolutely put in more, no problem. You know, you could put it all along here. You can see there's some still some material for the unit, the flooring. You have paint down here too. It looks like there's some tiling samples right there. So if you ever wanted to kind of know exactly what went into this unit. And then that's the door I came from. And just kind of giving you another angle of the garage. And then let's open this garage. Why not? Full effect. All right, so you see here is a loading zone. So whenever, you know, maybe somebody, a package provider might come by and park right here, but you have guest parking here, parking, guest parking, one, two, another one, and then there's my car over there. But this is kind of the exterior of what the buildings look like. So these buildings over here actually have more people per floor, but because we're this back building here, we only have two per floor. So this is the unit, you see that sign right there? That is the um, unit. And I'll back up a little bit more so you guys can get a nice full effect of it. And you enter from over here. You're driving down and you enter here. But even the exterior of the building's nice and it's quiet Sunday day. It's very dog friendly, speaking of dogs, extremely dog friendly up the hill over here, way down there. Definitely walking distance would be a dog park and a lot of great walking space. So as I'm kind of done with this area, I'll talk a little bit about Savita once we come upstairs. Let me go ahead and open this door. Bye, garage. Let me lock this. So you even see that they have the um, number placed. There we go. And then here's kind of the floor directory. I mean, it's just great. It's just marble on the, on the walls here. You have this. And then the entrance here. Slow down a bit so you can get just a feel of when you're if you were to walk through your garage or just have a guest walk through, that's your elevator. All right. 
walking in, feeling luxurious, going just to the second floor. Even look at this, even the flooring here in the elevator is really nice kind of flooring, like a, like a luxury vinyl or something like that. Really upgraded to the common area. The flooring is nice. This is an exit door here. And let's go back into the house. Here we go. So this would be kind of the end of my walkthrough tour. I wanna kind of put you down so if you had any questions at all, I'd be able to answer them for you. So um, let me take this guy off so you can see that I'm actually talking. Um, so that kind of concludes the walkthrough of this beautiful unit here in Savita. So last but not least, the price of this home is $771. Uh, it just had a price reduction. It came back on the market uh, as of this early this week. And uh, the, the community itself, Savita, was started in 2013 and started building a few of the units 2013-2014. So it's just a kind of one-stop shop. So it's off of the Friars Road here. You kind of pull in and this community is just meant to kind of be a part of itself. What I mean by that is that there's a shuttle that can take you to certain spots. There's still, it's still ever growing. So they have a community rec center, a really, really nice um, resort style kind of rec center, pool, spas, a workout, and um, an area in which you can reserve for parties or what meetings or whatnot. And all this is done really well. So the master community was meant to have this whole community as a very luxurious type of feel. And it really shows, it really does. So all the builders here have came up to that standard as well. So, so that shuttle will take you to the rec center and then currently they're building shops on, on um, uh, Civita Boulevard. And it's gonna be, from what I've heard, there's gonna be like a grocery store there, a movie theater, and then um, some office spaces. So it's just going to be able to shuttle you throughout all this, all this great stuff. And it's technically still walking distance. So it's relatively close enough to where you could walk your dog to these areas as well. And like I said before, it's extremely dog friendly. They have that dog park up there, up the hill, up here. And um, I always see neighbors walking their dog regardless whether they're running or working out. Uh, really nice kind of, uh, what is the open space down further in the um, entrance of Savita? So they would have Food Truck Tuesdays, they would have Farmer's Market Fridays during the summer and springtime. Given uh, COVID right now, they're not doing that, but I'm sure they'll pick that up next year, no problem. It's always a huge uh, fun kind of meet and greet, and kind of get friends together. They also have, during the summer, they have like movie theaters or concerts going on. So they always want to be inclusive and make this community really tight niche because it is a really great area to be. Um, and also, aside from this particular unit of having elevators up to your unit, they have houses here, so detached houses as well. So Savita is a very versatile type of living community. Whether you need that assistance to have an elevator up or you can take, you know, you can have stairs no problem in your home and be able to do that and they, they have a lot of homes here. So I cannot talk more highly about Savita of how wonderful it's growing and, and it's still flourishing to be such a great community as they're continuing to build. Their, one of the newest announcements that they made recently is uh, that they're putting an elementary school further down the hill, kind of where that common area space is. And uh, they also, I think they just opened the uh, like Sabita Park, which would be a butterfly garden, um, walking trails, a scent garden. They also have a community uh, farming garden, so you can plant vegetables there too. Uh, and it's of course very close to Mission Valley Mall, Fashion Valley Mall, the 163, a lot of other freeways in general. So other than that, I, I could honestly go for hours talking about Savita and how central uh, Mission Valley is. So if you have any more questions, maybe that I didn't happen to touch upon, 
please feel free to message me because I, if I don't know the answer, I want to know the answer about how great Savita can be. And um, I hope that I was able to provide enough information about this particular great upgraded unit. I really, really do love all the windows here. And I love that it is a very special premium lot that you have this green kind of look coming in and all this light. And so you're not really looking into neighbors. And I truly, truly appreciate that unit for what it is. So other than that, I think that concludes my tour. I really enjoyed showing you this home. I love talking about it and I love being in this home too. So like I said before, if you have any questions, please message me and I'm happy to answer any of them or find more information about the home. If you want a private tour of this home, Carol and I are very happy to show it to you at any time. It's vacant, so it's very easy to show. And also just taking a look around the community is really fun in itself. All right, thank you so much for being a part of my virtual open house walkthrough. This address is 8570 Aspect Drive located in Savita community, which is in Mission Valley, the 92108. This is a two bedroom, two full bath with an extra den office space. And it's a little over 1400 square feet. And right now it's currently going for 771. Have a wonderful Sunday, everyone. Bye.